A whole-of-government and whole-of-society approach must be taken to address the non-communicable disease NCD crisis in the Pacific, a clear message by His Majesty King Tupo VI while addressing over 120 high-level delegates representing Pacific Island governments and development partners at the opening of the inaugural Pacific NCD Summit in Nukualofa, Tonga. Fifty years ago, NCDs were not a major concern in the Pacific. People consumed predominantly traditional foods and lived more active lifestyles. Today that has changed, and so has the pattern of the consumption of food, tobacco, and alcohol. Proven, affordable, and cost-effective intervention, interventions are available. A whole of government and whole of society approach is needed to address social, political, and economic pathways to lead to the reduction of NCDs and their associated risk factors in the Pacific. We have the ability to halt and reverse this NCD crisis. We have the power to protect our people. We have the power to provide our children with a better future and to keep our development aspirations on track. The three-day summit focusing on translating global and regional commitments into local action is jointly organized by the Government of Tonga and the Pacific Community, SPC, with support from key development partners. NCDs, primarily heart disease, cancers, lung disease and diabetes, are the leading cause of death in the Pacific. And often NCDs are said to be about individual choices and people making unhealthy and bad choices. And therefore, in order to address NCDs it's, and its ill effects, we should focus on the individual and often lay blame squarely on people who are least able to help themselves. While it is true that it's certainly a significant element of individual choice that subsequently increased the likelihood of developing or worsening NCDs, it is critical to recognize that the environment plays a very important role. From SPC's perspective, we are committed to working together with countries, development partners, implementing agencies, academics, and CSOs to foster a truly multi-sectoral co collaboration to address NCDs. We owe it to the future of the Pacific to do the best we can. Only by working together we will have a chance. The evidence is that it can be done. It will by no means easy, but taking up the challenge is up to us, and take it we must. In her keynote address, United Nations Development Program Administrator Helen Clark emphasized that despite the immense challenge ahead, the NCD crisis in the region is surmountable and reversible. This region is very much on the front line of what is now a global fight, just as it's on the front lines of the fight against climate change. And the summit is a big opportunity to really galvanize action on this crisis in the Pacific and to be a leader globally for how we can build relationships, partnerships across our communities, our governments, our regional organizations, our international organizations on how to respond to the NCDs. We can take on this challenge and win. Obviously, the new global agenda for sustainable development and the Samoa pathway, both produced through UN processes, are very important drivers of action. But here in the Pacific, you've taken action into your own hands. And the proactive response will help the Pacific make lasting progress on a wide range of health and development priorities. The summit, which is being hosted at the Fa'onelua Convention Centre, concludes on 22nd June. Lauren Robinson, SPC News.